Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now, tonight's pour is going to be a Hot Wheels themed painting. So, I picked a car that I've actually done this car before. I'll show you here in a second. But I picked it because it's blue with orange flames. And as you know, orange is my favorite color and I love flames on a car. So, I decided to go with a blue background with orange flames coming out the back of it. Now, uh, you probably, if, if you watch a lot of my videos, you probably saw the one that I did with the orange background with blue coming out that I ended up actually keeping for myself. And uh, my wife was like, uh, just sell it and you can make yourself another one. Well, my thought was I'm going to keep this one and make another one to sell. So I made this one. So this is my second piece. It's, it's a great piece, but it's not as good as the one I kept for myself, which is hanging in the other room. But this is the this is my second attempt at the orange and blue. Well, I don't think it's my second one. Now this has metallic orange, and then the darker orange is just the regular oranges, which is the orange I'm gonna use tonight. And then it was just a regular blue with some white in there. Or actually, well, that was a metallic blue. That looks like some metallic blue. So, let me put this back up on the wall. Get it real crooked. That'll work. So, here's the car that I'm going to use. This is a 57 Plymouth Fury. As you can see, it's got 57 on it. It's a blue car. It's got the orange flames on it. I've actually done this car before, but it was a white with orange. And this is the piece that I did with the same car. And I actually kept this one for a while. And, uh, cause I really liked how it turned out. And, um, so I finally decided to sell this one. This one was hanging up basically where the orange and blue one is hanging now. And I decided to sell this one. This one has a kind of a funny story to it as well. Because when I had it hanging on the wall, I had all of my all of my cars, because I had two or three of them hanging, and they were all going that way. So my wife didn't like it because the 57 is upside down. So I came home one night from work, and it's like this. And I noticed it, even though she says I don't notice anything. So anyway, I noticed that. So I turned it back this way to go with the other cars. Now, the next day, it was back like this. So that night, I put it back like this to go with the cars. Now, why I didn't turn the other cars the other way, I have no idea. But So it was kind of a thing between us for about a week or so. I kept turning it back and forth. Well, I ended up putting it up even higher on this wall, closer to the ceiling. Now, not that that would keep her from ever getting reaching it and being able to. One reason is that she's actually taller than I am. She, I am six foot tall, and my wife is six foot two. So, she could reach it better than I could reach it. I had to climb up on a chair to get it, and I didn't figure she would climb up on a chair to get it. So um, it finally stopped after about a week and a half or so. So that's the story behind that one. And the little things you do to keep things interesting around the house. So I'm going to use four colors. I'm using Artist Loft Blue as my base paint, but I have also put in, I had some extra Prussian blue from a pour I did the other night in a cup. So I, I actually poured that in after I mixed the blue, I poured that in and then just kind of pushed it down and we'll see how it comes out when I pour it. Then I'm using orange Astor's Touch and then I'm using white also uh, from Artist Loft. 
So those are the colors. And this is, uh, this is, these are the colors we're going to go with tonight. And I'm going to do a blue background with the orange and some white coming out the back. Mostly I want to do a little bit bigger orange plume fire and really get some kind of, as you can see on this, it's really got some really significant flames. It's not real sub subtle. It's just really bold. And that's what I'm going to try to go with tonight. So um, I've already got my paints mixed. So all I got to do is get it going. All right. As you can see, it actually turned out really well. The darker blue, the Prussian blue mixed in with that regular blue. It's <clears throat> kind of got a really cool looking background. Not just a plain negative space of blue, but just a solid blue. So it really looks cool, which is what I like. So what we're going to do is normally I would put the orange down and some white on the top, but I think I'm going to go with some white on the bottom and orange on top because I want it to be more, a lot more orange. I'll add some white when I need it. I really don't kind of want to cover up too much of that nice blue in the background, but... Sure was a big chunk of something. All right, here we go. the white showed up. Also want some more things in there. We're gonna put some white in there just a little bit. Excuse me.
All right, so now what we're gonna do is mess with the flame part. <clears throat> so I get a, well, I use a paper towel, you can use it whatever you want, but. So I get my little stick just to clean it off. And you start moving these. Which I want some big. That's kind of how I wanted it. it. was really bold, really big. So we'll have my, our car right there. And that'll look pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to... I see how there's a... to find I didn't want that so de such a defined blue line basically going through there all right so there we have it I think this one will turn out to be a good piece all right, so this is dried. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. So we're gonna use seven ounces of total resin, three and a half the hardener, three and a half of the epoxy. So I already have the back taped because uh, when it dries, it'll drop, drop off, leave little rounded droplets hardened there. So we put the resin, excuse me, we put the tape on there just to peel it off real fast and clean the back of that thing. Now, I have done actually 14 ounces of resin because I have two paintings I'm doing tonight. So this one is the first one, so I'm going to try to get seven ounces out. Let's see if we can do that. A little bit more. I always do just that. I sure do need more on there. There, yeah, that's better. All right, so let's get this spread out. I got the resin spread out on the other painting. Now time to do this one.
let's get the torch in. something in there. Is it hair or something? I don't know. Oh, I think I got all that out, so we're going to put it uh, right in there. I think we have a good piece. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any comments on it, leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.